Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for another 118 scale figure unboxing and review video. And today we will be looking at this Hia Toys Exquisite Mini at 209 from the Robocop 1 movie. Once again, I purchased this unit from amiami.com and I will put a link down below in my video description so you can check it out if this item is still available or not in their website. So as usual, before we do the unboxing, let's take a look at its box art design first, shall we? Generally, this is a square shape black box with an image overlaid in front of every side of the box. Looking at the front side, we can see this huge image of the actual product itself with a Robocop title on the top and the silver color framing and slightly having a dark blue tone color on the background. We have this character title at this side and OCP logo here and at the bottom left we have this warning stated 15 years and up and definitely it's not for children. And the right side we have this here toys logo. At the side we have the promotional image of this figure with the Robocop title at the top and at the rear side most of it it's the same as the front of the box and the other side we have this product legalese, company logos, rights, barcodes and still image from the movie itself and at the bottom we have we don't have anything it's just a black surface and on the top we have this again the figure image with the Robocop title at the bottom so guys, let's check it out this figure and let's do the unboxing segment, shall we? So I think I'm going to cut it from the top. So guys, looking at this figure uh, securely with its plastic case and I think uh, looks good. There's no missing or anything. But we don't have any manual to operate this thing. Uh, hopefully, uh, we can figure it out later. Yeah. So, guys, this is the figure looking very bulky and huge for this scale, of course. But sadly, although it doesn't come with any accessories or interchangeable part, I think Hia Toys could actually include it with a huge rifle that Robocop was using when he destroyed at near end of the movie, remember? Other than that, I think the build up for this figure looks imposing and the proportion wise looks great, skin color looks spot on with slightly washed at some area and I'm impressed on how they tried to hide all the screw throughout the design for this figure. And we will check it out the articulation later on after we cover the figure detail up close and personal. First of all, I just wanted to state that I'm not really an expert on mechanical stuff and so maybe some elaboration that I'm going to give will sound inaccurate but you can actually tell me if I'm wrong in the comment section down below. So yeah, let's begin. So looking at the, from the top we can see this uh, black texture on his head and uh, it feels very good and at the front you can see the grill the silver gunmetal color which I think it represents his mouth area because you know at 209 have some sort of voice command when he's arresting or trying to give warnings to people And for the arms, we can see it looks quite identical, but it's actually not. It's asymmetrical. The design has the same shoulder pad over here, which covers the wire and mechanical parts on his arm. And for the left arm, we can see that it has two numbers of machine guns, so therefore it has two slots of magazine at this area. And the right arm only have one machine gun, so therefore only one magazine slot is provided. At the top here, you can see the details of the missile compartment. It doesn't have any body parts, so we just have a connection area to these droid legs. 
here and speaking about the legs you can see that it's totally the same design for both legs and the screw area is painted with some sort of black wash over here and we have some sort of silver wash at his feet area and for the back we can see there is a ventilation louvers over here and a tiny circular looking part at the side area and as you can see at the bottom of his head it has some sort of battery compartment and I believe this figure has sound effects and I think this is the button to start the voice command so let's check it out So it only has three uh, type of variation. Well, I was hoping that the sound would, would be a little more louder, but instead it sounds too soft and with the commands variation is uh, sufficient enough for me at least. So guys, let's take a look at its articulation and basically it is a robot. So maybe the articulation will be limited, not as uh, functional as a human uh, body figure. So as you can see, I'm going to begin with his leg first and as you can see that he can uh, forward and back for his leg there. That is pretty good, whole, the whole range. And we have this a little bit uh, hinge on his ankle, but it doesn't have ankle rock over there. So yeah, and this three, uh, what do you call this, uh, fingers is uh, very doesn't have any articulation so that is downside of it I wish that we could have some sort of you know articulation over here so we can have more option on displaying him because I think this is we, this can be uh, adjust you just have to put some force to it yeah you can see that and let's see if it can be you know balance with this kind of height yes it does that's why I mentioned that this should be articulated too so it's so we get more option on displaying him so never mind let's put it back on default so at his uh, head over here we have this left and right motion doesn't look that far because it was it actually hindered by this area by his body over here so yeah that is the only way that he's going to uh, you know rotate but it can actually look down that far and looking up that far so that is a pretty nice view you know and then uh, this is the arm over here we have swivel at his shoulder here elbow articulation you can turn around wherever you want and this swivel on his uh, machine gun cannon over here so yeah and this shoulder pad is on a hinge so let me adjust it like this all right so that is about the articulation and let's go to the scale comparison segment shall we now let's take a look at its height comparison between here toys figures especially from the robocop series and as you can see here from the right we got this uh, robocop one and from the left is this robocop 2 battle damage edition and as you can see here they look pretty awesome together the proportion wise with scales pretty good and i think they belong to each other next up is this uh, jada toy 6 inch figure 
uh, and I just wanted to show you how does it scale up with a 6 inch figure and at the left here we have this here toys 2014 Robocop and this Robocop is a little bit more uh, higher than the uh, OG Robocop so yeah that is the scale next up is this Star Wars the vintage collection Luke Skywalker and Remnant Stormtrooper so this is my other 3 and a quarter inch figure and they look pretty good too yeah so you can actually mix and match for this uh, collection so at the end of the day it's been a thrilling adventure collecting this line especially the Robocop series whether it's from the OG Robocop or the 2014 Robocop both of these figures are great so far although there's been a scaling issue previously but it doesn't bother me that much so this at 209 will at least complete my robocop series collection for the time being and i'm pretty definitely excited about upcoming releases from here toys hopefully they will eventually make kane or another at 209 from the 2014 robocop in the future offering so guys that is the end of my review if you like the video please click the like button if you want to support me please subscribe to the channel and don't forget click the net bell notification button so you will be notified once a new video comes live thank you again for watching until we meet again in my next video sayonara